This menu screen is a Binge Pipe exclusive. Binge Pipe is the only streaming service to determine that people really needed to hear a voice talking to them all the time when they first interacted with the user interface. And we refuse to course correct on that decision. Binge Pipe knows what you want to watch even when you can't articulate it. What do I like to watch? Um, thumb, smack water jack. Plumps darts in a jar? Petu petunias and corn. I, I, I don't know. Why am I having so much trouble? Drugged. We've been drugged. Binge Pipe. Prepare your body for enjoyment with this upcoming Binge Pipe programming. Okay, so it's a bet. If you can get the coolest girl in school to go to prom with you, I'll take a gender studies class that will teach me that women aren't commodities and challenges based on archaic standards of masculinity. Binge Pipe has mixed feelings about presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, you're too late to stop us. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'll believe in you when no one else will. But not before. Well, it smells like everyone is here. Okay, no turning back. Time for question one. First on the docket, getting nuts. <clears throat> I don't know why they don't want me eating pistachios while I host. <coughs> Pistachio caught in throat. Airway blocked. Can't seem to. Exchange O for CO. Exchange O2 for CO2. Oh god. Exchange O for C2O. Oh, I'm dying. Exchange O3 for CO2. And how do we do? Yes, breathable oxygen is O2 while we breathe out carbon dioxide. <gasps> <sighs> I just saw my life flash before my eyes. People sure pick C a lot. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Try this on for size. Music you can laugh to. If someone put a fermata on their laughter, what would it sound like? Ha! Oh. Love this part. A fermata is when you hold the same note for longer than you normally would. It's challenging, but luckily, as a classically trained performer, I'm able to pull laughter from deep down in my. Well, you get the idea. Why do we do it with three? Feast your eyes upon this. Hardcore relief. And you're gonna feel so much better after this dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's a part of a toilet or a type of pleasure aid sold by the adult novelty company Doc Johnson. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between a toilet part or a type of pleasure aid. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Flapper. Most of you, uh, skated by on that one. Alright, let's move on. I don't need you anymore. 
Oh, here's a good one. Barrier necessities. Suppose Mexico.com put up a paywall. What should the pop-up message say? To view all 7 states, please subscribe. To view all 15 states, please subscribe. To view all 31 states, please subscribe. Or to view all 40 states, please subscribe. Who picked what? It's Cancun, not Cantcoon. Should have just given a fake email address. Mexico has 31 states. But American spring breakers only know about the state of inebriation. I call this one Tailor Made Titles. What's in a name? Letters. Letters are in a name. Yeah, solve that one, Shakespeare. Which of these people would write Taylor in the blank space that asks for their patronymic name? Taylor Swift, James Taylor, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, or Dwayne the Taylor Johnson? So what'd you pick? In this case, the Taylor would be a nickname, and it's one that has failed to catch on. The patronymic name is also known as the family name, surname, or last name. It's something you can pass down through the generations, like those James Taylor cassettes my mom won't let me throw away. That's the end of round one. Numbers, numbers, show me numbers. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. Looks like someone needs a little more help. And keep in mind, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use that thing. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? You're doing so well, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. And now, are you gonna eat that? Hey. I have some boiled horse bones. I heard you love boiled horse bones. You can't get enough of those boiled horse bones. Want some yummy Haribo gummy bears? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, what do you know? My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. Hope you're a fast typer. Okay, who chose what? This snack is good, but could use some boiled horse bones. <laughs> While these other candies are vegan, gummy bears are traditionally made with gelatin, which is derived from boiled animal bones, ligament, and tissue. <laughs> what a fun snack to remind you of how you always wanted a horse, and that sometimes dreams have a funny way of coming true. Expert screwing player two, spend this wisely. This one's known as Bless You Got Served. Which hip hop move best demonstrates the proper hygienic way to sneeze in public as set out by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention? The Dougie, Popping and Locking, The Humpty Dance, or Dabbing? Let's see who got it. If you don't have a tissue on hand, the CDC recommends you sneeze into your upper sleeve, which is what it looks like someone is doing when they're dabbing. It's so lame when adults try to look cool by not getting phlegm everywhere. Hey, question. We'd like to initiate a moment of playful interactivity. Would you like a delicate question about musicals or a musical question about delicates? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Here are the votes. You have chosen. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. 
Up next, a musical question about delicates. Here comes a question. Make way for the question. Oh yes, a question is a coming. It's a rolling down the track. Choo choo, choo choo. Are you ready? Ready for the question? Ready for a question. Then I must be the one to simply ask. What did the underwear company Playtex help make? The first wetsuit, the first spacesuit, the first bikini, or the first graduation cap and gown? I love this part. Playtex designed the spacesuit worn on the first Apollo mission. Ready for a question? No, ladies, that that was it. Uh, do, do you need a ride home or anything? Introducing Can't or Won't Stop the Feeling. Which Justin Timberlake song title best describes the act of lapidation? Cry me a river, rock your body, sexy back, or what goes around comes around. And how do we do? <laughs> Lapidation is the act of stoning someone to death. Yeah, it's amazing how many people misinterpret that song. Why not try close but not close enough encounters? Which title character is an alien? The Martian, the Giver, the Thing, or Her? Okay, what'd you pick? The monster that attacks an Arctic research station did in fact come out of a ship from outer space. I hate confusing titles. I walked out of the Iron Lady furious it wasn't a movie about Meryl Streep fighting crime in a suit of armor. Ow. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may listen to you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Well, actually, are these things actually what they say they are? Good luck.
one's got it. Well done, player one. You won by so much, it hurts. Uh, wait, no, that was definitely my appendix rupturing. I gotta go to the hospital. You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hmm. Well, funny story. I was actually eating gummy bears when I read that boiled horse bones question. And I gotta say, didn't bother me at all. Not at all. Mostly because I was also eating a horse sandwich at the time with a side of horse juice. Oh yeah, you, you, you gotta get the horse juice on the side to get the full experience. D it doesn't matter what brand, horse juice. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. different now life is different especially kids all you hear now is can i have screen time can i have screen time my nephew kept asking me that question and i said sure and then i plopped him in front of my screen door i said that was my screen time as a kid i have an irrational fear of change love stories he was my barista. She was my favorite customer. And yada yada yada. We've been married for 12 years. Love stories. We were coworkers. I probably asked her out about 10 times over two years. Every time she was like, no thank you. I was thinking, eating, and dreaming no thank yous. I had totally given up at one point. And then out of the blue, she smiled at me and I just went for it. Bam. And this time it was different. This time she was like, Seriously, no. No, 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 no. Please stop. You're making me uncomfortable. So I asked out a different girl, and now I've been with this girl, Sharon, for like six years. Eight years. Yeah, eight years. Love stories. Love stories.